hi everyone and welcome to a new video today we are going to test our little mod i have taken the liberty to add a couple of uh, rugs and tapestries a few more barrels because i made them with a high capacity i've given them a unique id obviously once you've looked around you're happy with what you've done there's a couple of things you need to do if you have been adding or modifying scripts you want to recompile all of them make sure they all work properly the construction set is going to detect errors not all of them unfortunately uh, we'll see uh, other tools later on probably likewise the construction set will be able to detect some errors in the dialogue box result now we didn't do anything with that however this is where it is if you want to check those you want to save your mod first because much like at the beginning we have those warnings about errors in dialogues there are going to be a couple there but they're not your mistake they're not your fault the topics are stock certificate uh, selling off women of course they're selling off as well because now we have the yes to all warning we don't see it so they are errors they're not yours but you don't want to save your mod afterwards now we are almost ready, almost ready. The next thing we want to do is get a mod. Where is it? That one. We want to get that mod. It's going to make your character really, really fast, really, really strong. You're going to have 100% to all your attributes. You can have infinite money, weapons, everything. You skip the character creation. Very, very handy. The next thing you want to do is go back to your Morrowind ini file and we're going to edit it just one line in your original Morrowind ini file you have this beta comment file and nothing there go ahead and add uh, a beta comment dot text you can name it anything you want but it has to be a text file yes and now we are about ready to go you want to check that you have your master files loaded you want to make sure you have your own mod loaded and my mod test charging right there we're good to go right here we are in game forgive the wonky uh, resolution this is not very important we're gonna go ahead start a new game and pronto or pronto enough you find yourself in Sadenim with a character that has 100% to all your skills and attributes and this is going to give you pretty much everything you need and this is going to allow to tele allow you to teleport anywhere you want really really handy and I'm super fast and I jump like crazy anyway testing the mod here's our guy gives us a little advice tells us to go and talk to the silk strider person We talk to her about Bodunius Nusius. Yes, check. Go back to the dude. Love that. Right. We talked about you. We're gonna take your ring. First thing we want to check. Look at that. Our icon turned out well. Pretty good. Pretty good. We want to go in. Ah, it's locked. Well, right now we're gonna you know cheat a little bit open the console with a tilde click on the door so that that's what we're going to modify go unlock brilliant it's unlocked however there's a problem there so this is when you're gonna hit BC and then in quotation mark you put something door locked uh, maybe we need a key I don't know we're gonna have to think of something there just don't know what beta comment added brilliant right now we cheated it's unlocked we go in first thing first our key is there and this yeah ideally honestly ideally when we activate the storage it says you move the bed I'm gonna go and, uh, message move the bed that'd be brilliant you know so it doesn't break immersion so you move the bed uh, so that you can go through the trap door okay here we are and we are a little stuck we can jump out 
probably have to remove the table or move the marker actually should do the trick rather than moving the table. Petruka, yes, my typing skills are amazing. All right, brilliant. Do we find the place a little too dark? No, it's all right. However, there's one thing I forgot to do and it is add that ceiling. Semicolon is not gonna work. Add ceiling, yeah, definitely. Let that comment add it. All right, let's have a look at our ring, by the way. Now that we gave it those uh, very fancy textures, well, it's a ring, it's tiny, but it looks different, okay? No, that's good, we're happy with that. These are good, they're empty, they're empty. Dude. Let's select our dude. Maybe, you know, we should give him a name. It was all fine when we were, you know, creating a placeholder, but right now, okay, testing that we can come out. No problem. And this is it. We have tested our mod and we have written down a couple of things we need to fix. To fix. Uh... All right, back to the construction set. It is time to repair all of that. Once you have quit Morrowind, you want to look at two different files. There is the warnings text files, especially important if you have the yes to all enabled because you've seen none of the warnings. However, those three warnings, they're not your fault, they come in with the game, you can ignore them. If you have better bodies installed, you're going to have a bunch of errors dealing with the ankle or the foot. Anyway, again, not your fault, nothing you can do about it, you can ignore those. There's nothing to do with our mod, even though we visited every cell, we, did, we modified, we tried all the dialogues, everything. We are good. The second file you want to open, still in your Morrowind install folder, is the beta comments text file. And here you're going to find those little messages you left to yourself. Uh, not only do you have the message, but you also have uh, the cell, the object that was selected and its position, more importantly, uh, the mod that modified that object. So this is really good for you to see the problems in your mod, but then again, if you're playing and you find that there is a problem in your game and you don't know which mod introduced that particular problem, use the BC command and you'll be able to see where the problem comes from. Now all you have to do is open your construction set and fix those problems. Funnily enough, as you fix those problems, you're going to have new ideas, you're going to introduce new problems, from there on, we have a, I want to say, vicious circle happening where you're going to test things, fix things, add things, test things, fix things, add things. But that's what we're going to do next week. For now, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you very soon. Bye-bye.